The Ecology Action Center first started selling uh, organic Christmas trees in the early 90s when a big part of our work was around pesticides and pesticide regulations. Um, we wanted to give people an alternative to conventionally grown Christmas trees. Uh, now, more than 20 years later, the industry has changed quite a bit, but we continue to do our Christmas tree campaign. Um, it's an important way that we connect with a lot of members of our community. It's a fundraiser for the Ecology Action Center, but it's also an important conversation to have about how our choices um, have an impact on the environment. My family has been here for about 160 years now. I'm the seventh generation to be working on this piece of ground. Um, we started with Christmas trees in about the mid-60s. We take care of the bushes by hand with power saws and with uh, hand nippers, and we don't use synthetic fertilizers or pesticides or herbicides. We rely on natural regeneration, which is um, seed that's coming off some of the large seed trees. There's a few of those around us. We have a nursery in New Ross that produces seedlings for us from some of our own seed. So some of these guys here, it's hard to tell. They may actually be natural, they may be planted. But we harvest 1,500 to 2,000 trees a year and we usually plant a couple thousand trees. So we always make sure that everywhere is well stocked. It just makes it more efficient and we have, we're able to produce the same amount of trees on less acreage. Oh, come on in, you can't hurt me. Wow. <laughs> 12, 13, 14 years I looked after that before it was ready for market. And then there's a little guy that was planted this spring. So you can have a fair bit of productivity out of these places and you don't have to be too destructive to do it. One of the ways we use integrated pest management is the fact that if I see that I've got a problem starting to come with aphids, which would be the classic example, um, is I will introduce some ladybugs and they work along for free all summer. <laughs> so it's really nice they're working while I'm at home doing something else. To my mind, balsam fir are a tree and they evolve without fertilizer and I think they do just fine without it. I mean these are natural, they'll come in here and grow on their own, the seed will blow in from a big tree and they'll just take off in itself. And that's what started the Christmas tree industry in Nova Scotia. And we are the Christmas tree capital of the world. <laughs> <laughs> so if your family celebrates the season with a Christmas tree, we hope that you'll consider buying one from the Ecology Action Center this year.